Welcome back to Adventurango. Today's a very, very exciting day. Uh, we have an unboxing video, another unboxing video, uh, and I have been waiting for this for quite some time. Uh, and today's the day. So, uh, Twinkie, uh, Twinkie's Adventures, ordered us both uh, Rock Hobby 118th Katana RTR uh, RC trucks, the crawlers. And uh, unfortunately, he lives about an hour away, so we haven't had time to hang out. But today, he uh, came down to visit us, and he brought mine. So we're going to get it unboxed, and uh, we'll give you a preview of a little bit of everything. So let me get it opened up here. This knife is garbage. That's okay though. All right. So, uh, initial first impressions, uh, basically of the box of the truck. Get the, that box out. Get that one out of the way. So, uh, give you a view of each part of the box. Uh, and then that's the styrofoam packaging the truck actually comes in inside. A uh, little bit of everything on here. And uh, I really, I really just like the the presentation on the on the box here. It's nice. Uh, and this is just a sleeve the styrofoam sits in. Uh, on the box it reads: injection molded hard body, functional hood, scale interior interior features. Multifunctional light control system, Rhino bumper kit and roof rack, high traction mud terrain tire with one inch internal beadlock wheels, realistic pinion and ring gear axle, high torque transmission with a 104 to 1 FDL. What's FDL stand for? Final drive something. Final drive something. <laughs> Water resistant electronics with a 2.4 gigahertz radio, a high torque oversized 55 tooth brush motor. Or 55 turn brush motor. I think it's 55 turn. 7.4 volt 2S Labo battery providing up to 30 minute run time. Chassis mounted servo, aluminum frame rails, and tuned coil shocks. So we'll get it out of the sleeve. And I'm definitely going to save the sleeve. I do not want the sleeve damaged. So, alright. So here's the uh, actual packaging it comes in. Uh, it says Rock Hobby Katana. Uh, and then some other stuff on it, the numbers or whatever. But just open straight up. Okay, it's tight. Yeah. It is tight. Okay. It is tight. <laughs> okay. So top of the box comes off. Styrofoam. You got directions here. We don't need directions where we're going. Uh. So is the truck tight to get out of here? A little bit. Okay. All right. So here is the truck. Here's the uh, Rock Hobby Katana. Uh, it's got a lot of, a lot of details, and uh, it's actually got some weight to it. It's actually fairly heavy. Uh, it's got a nice brush guard on the front. Uh, it's got a spare tire carrier, a ladder up to the big roof basket. Uh, it's got these lights here. I don't think these actually have bulbs. No, they don't. Um, so we will eventually get bulbs for these and get these wired in. And uh, it's got rock rails on the sides. And uh, underneath, it's got a, I think it's a three-link front and four-link rear, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then uh, it's got a snorkel here. So And the uh, tires are actually quite soft. So I definitely feel like it's gonna it's gonna work great for a little bit of crawling. So I'm not sure how the body comes off. I think it flips up, right? It does flip. Does it flip up? Four screws. Oh, it's four screws. Okay, so there's four screws that hold the body on. Everything's um, under the hood, though. Everything's under the hood. Okay. Yeah. So that's Do neat. That okay, we'll definitely we'll get that off uh, in another video a little bit later. But uh, here's the remote uh, and the remote comes in two pieces and it looks like it just slides together like so and that's it that's the uh, that's the remote and it actually has quite a few functions on the top of the remote here 
it's not going to focus. That's my luck. But anyway, uh, also in the box, you get a tool for the wheels and whatnot, and whatever other stuff. Uh, they also give you... I'm never going to get that out of there. I had to use pliers to get mine out, too. I couldn't fit my fingers in there. Yeah, <laughs> my fingers are way too fat to get in there. One second, guys. Uh, oh. I might be able to get it out. It's in there tight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, and then here is the charger for the batteries. And they also give you a very, very small screwdriver that I am definitely going to lose. <laughs> so. Because you're uh, definitely not going to use it. Yeah. And here's the molding of the box uh, that everything fits in nice and tight. And it's nice because actually when you're not using it, uh, as long as the truck is clean, you can stuff the truck back in the box and put the styrofoam top back on and, and transport it safely and not have to worry about anything getting broken. So uh, we're going to get the batteries charged up and uh, do a little bit of backyard crawling. And uh, yeah, so that's the unboxing. Um, I'm impressed by the weight. It's actually quite heavy for as small of a truck as it is. I, I can't believe it weighs this much. Um, it's, it feels stout, it definitely, and it looks like it's definitely going to have some good flex to it, uh, and Twinkies Adventures also told me that we can relocate the shocks, uh, to a lower point to lift the truck a little more. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to do that, but I'm, I'm impressed, it's, uh, it's a really nice suspension system, everything moves around flawlessly, and, uh, it, you know, it's, it's a hard body, so it's uh, it's not going to break, you know, if you roll it over or whatever. And it doesn't weigh enough to break itself, basically, like a, a one-tenth or a one-fifth would. So, and uh, the spare tires, you know, actually a spare tire. It's actually unboltable and put it on and go. So that's, that's super neat. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the interior here, but it's actually quite detailed. Uh, it looks like it has a uh, stick shift. And a lot of trunk space. A lot, a lot of trunk space. Um, I don't know if there's like tape or something along the inside of the trunk here. But, uh, yeah, it's it's detailed. It's highly detailed. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. And I know the headlights do work uh, from factory. And whenever you turn, uh, the uh, turn signals work. So, yeah, we're going to get the batteries charged up. And then we'll get you guys a, a little bit of a backyard crawling video. It actually has a California license plate on it, so we'll have to see if we can find a uh, a sticker to replace that with a Pennsylvania plate. But uh, it's got tow hooks on the rear bumper here, and uh, the bumpers are plastic, but I feel like they'll hold up for the most part. I don't think we'll end up breaking those, but uh, eventually we will get aluminum bumpers or whatever they make metal for scale stuff like this. So. And uh, the brush guard I'm probably going to keep on here forever because I really like this brush guard. The initial plan was to find a 118th Durango body to drop onto this chassis. But uh, I can't find them. Right. I, I can't even find a 3D file to print. I, I, did, find, I did find one. Um, I, and a gentleman gave me a link for eBay uh, to purchase one. But the problem is... Uh, the cheapest one I found was like 60 bucks, and I'm not sure if I want to make that investment right away. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, uh, it does it does have a good bit of flex. I'm actually quite impressed with uh, with how good it flexes. Try and get you a little idea here. So, it, it comes up pretty good. And, uh, you know, before that tire lifts up. And uh, obviously when you're crawling around on the rocks and stuff, you'll get a better idea of, you know, how it's going to do. But uh, it's it's quite stout. So I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. And I'm, I can't believe how heavy it is. That's just, that's blowing my mind. I knew they were heavy. I watched a couple of videos of other people playing around with them. And they said they were heavy. And for a 118th truck, it, you know, it is quite heavy. And uh, you can see how stout the suspension is. It's quite bouncy. So, yeah. That's the Rock Hobby Katana. Um, you can uh, find a link to them in my description. So you can purchase one yourself if you would like. Uh, I believe they were $170.
Yeah, about one hundred and seventy dollars, plus shipping and taxes or whatever. So, um, we're definitely gonna do some stuff with the roof basket. Uh, put some stuff up here, some scale accessories. There's a uh, hobby shop right down the road. So, um, I think they're actually o only open on weekends. So I'll definitely have to go down there and see if they have anything. But uh, we'll check it out. So. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Go check out Twinkie's Adventures channel. And uh, I will leave a link to his channel in the description as well. So, stay tuned for the next one.